can we look at an image and yes. then retroactively understand what the input was so that Doll E could have created it? Welcome to Good Mythical More. I bet you we can, and we can also donate $1,000 to women in film to aid in their mission to advocate for and advance the careers of women working in the screen industries in front of and behind the camera to achieve parity and transform culture. Please join us in giving at womeninfilm.org. Mm-hmm, thanks for being your mythical best. Okie dokie. Well, let's see the first one, Stevie. Ooh, okay, so this is a dude doing stand-up to a group of dudes who look just like him. I think it is. And a couple of people who don't. Man tells incredibly offensive joke to group of, of men that is especially offensive to women. I mean, look at the women in the in that. Like, look at the front here. We got the guy mm -hmm. really flipping out. He loves the sexist joke that was just made. Yep. And the woman is like, I can't even smell this guy right now. And everybody needs to be white. Right. What is the guy, like, lower left one in? Is his tongue? The bottom? The, what is happening? The bottom That guy? is the knee of the man. Of, of a, no, what is that? No, it's like something coming shoulders. out of He's his like, mouth. <laughs> So his oh, going got it, got it, got it. He's like, you're close, but the activity that the man is doing, you haven't quite slam poetry. Oh, there we go. Generate an image of a man doing slam poetry for a crowd who is absolutely hating it, and put it in the style of a very bespoke animation. Oh, bespoke animation. Forgot that part. <laughs> bespoke. It is interesting. Maybe it took the fact that it was it's supposed to be a man doing slam poetry and then applied it to the majority of the crowd who knows what it was thinking who knows what it was thinking stevie here's something i'm thinking um got all those hands at the bottom how do i say this without offending anybody okay all right that's always you know what <laughs> um, that's always a good question to say out loud you know i'm just joking but seriously how do i say this in a way that doesn't make me look stupid. Okay, that's a better question. Better question? I'm not 100% clear on what the word bespoke means. Uh, Does that mean like it, completely, like made from scratch? I, I mean, I just always understood it as custom. Custom? Yeah. Which, it, I don't it understand can, how this applies. Like yeah, what is bespoke I. animation? This, I guess. Meaning that this doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. <laughs> that this this was created just for us. Well, what's the definition for dis bespoke? Usually, it's bespoke clothing, which means that somebody's making your clothes for you. Right? You were right with the definition of it. It, it is like made, made for a particular customer yeah. or user. A bespoke suit, making or selling bespoke goods, especially clothing, bespoke. Tailors, so it's like made for one person. The writers, Taylor. I guess, wanted to um, have more of an indie vibe to it, but I don't know if that was a true. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't think. I don't see it. I don't see it. We are not pleased with this. We do not approve this, Dolly. But in slang, the word is commonly heard with regard to handmade items. It means made. It even though it actually means made to order or custom made, not just handmade. I would describe it as slang, uh, antiquated, archaic, or old fashioned is more correct than slang. What? Never mind. Uh, what is make bespoke? Made for Dictionary bespoke. with link. Okay. Yeah, let's right. go deeper. Okay. Does Here's bespoke another one. mean luxury? Oh, wow. Photorealistic. Um, None of these people are real. Photorealistic zany fella being interviewed by a frog is trying to get someone to grab onto his USB device, confounding local teenagers. No, dude, that's not a USB device. It's the it's a microphone stand. He's holding a microphone. Oh, and there's a frog on it. 
Do you see the frog? Yeah, now I see the frog and I see that that is a microphone stand. I was seeing the microphone being held by like a reporter. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is that he's holding the he, they're supposed the, the, the USB the stand. Sh the shaft of the stand is supposed to continue down to the ground, but because this is make believe, it doesn't have to. So bespoke <laughs> fashion icon oh, oh, interviewed no. by Frog in photorealistic uh, setting of Manhattan. Frog themed busker, Mr. Frog the busker wows the crowd outside F H S Schwartz, whatever it is. F A O Schwartz. F A O Schwartz. <laughs> Zany. Zany frog like bus bespoke. You have not achieved the adjective of this. Unsuccessful person. rapper interviewed by four fingered lady. You have not achieved the adjective or the um uh, occupation. It's not a zany person. busker? Uh, uh the occupation is a little closer to home, if you know what I mean. Oh, Influencer. We cl uh, close. YouTuber. Yeah, okay. And and That's what YouTuber. about the YouTuber? Froggy YouTuber. YouTuber interviewed by Frog. No, he's the Frog is with him. He's got green ears. The Frog is is his part of his bit. He does have green ears. He is a froggish guy. Oh no. Professional reptile reptile YouTuber. Reptile expert YouTuber. Wow's teens outside of F O A Schwartz. Is that what it is? F O A? F A O. F A O Schwartz. Foa. Oh no, come up with some other adjectives for this YouTuber. Punk rock. Mm -hmm. Punky froggy YouTuber. <laughs> Annoyingly gaudy YouTuber. Okay, annoying. What's another? Oh, oh, over the top YouTuber. You're, you're all. It's redundant. Uh,. Obnoxious is the obnoxious one. YouTuber. YouTuber plays with his frog <laughs> in front of captivated teens outside of F A O Schwartz. Yeah, you go. Takes me three times. Generate a picture of the world's most obnoxious YouTuber interviewing a frog on the street for their content. Oh, you see, okay, this is an interesting thing that AI does, right? Why did it need to give him green ears? It didn't That's, have to give yeah, him green ears. Also, the piercing. You see that? It, there's a piercing that maybe on his Frog. tip of his tongue slash his lip, but oh. it's not going in the right way. Oh, yeah. And also, he's wearing a wig. Like, they didn't just color his hair. Like All of us wear a, wigs, Stevie. Uh, <laughs> that is a wig. You think this is a real? wig line. Like, they were like, yes, this person needs to be wearing a wig have one single green ear and a piercing that is. Here's the thing, Stevie. They weren't like anything. Oh, and he's wearing a a morph suit. Yeah, he's coming wearing a morph up suit under the. The most impressive yeah. part of this entire thing is the photorealistic nature of the crowd in the background. Yeah, like I would be like, yeah, I wouldn't know because it's blurry and there's nothing super weird when you first look at it. I'd be like, that's real. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Is that a frog earring? I can't, I can't really tell. I do not want to no, be his friend. No, but the frog has nice eyelashes. <laughs> and the, yeah, the woman's hand holding the other side of the microphone is uh, just right against the prompt. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. But What about this one? Okay, so this is, uh, Classically over handsome illustrated man reveals syringe from his British umbrella <laughs> while a floating martini with string coming out of it beckons your purchase. Sharp jowled martini boy <laughs> shields himself from the rain of East London. Wait, there's nothing about anything else that he's holding or anything that we would put in. Uh, it is a. It does appear to be. Oh no no. He no. only has four fingers too. Boy doctor. <laughs> 
Drunken boy doctor. He's not drunk. He's about to be. Offers a, offers patient, no, offers you elixir. From his umbrella. From his umbrella. What is in the martini? Is a bicycle a, wheel. A bicycle tire. Um, okay, the first part, I think you pretty much nailed. Generate an image of the most handsome person you could imagine, but they're holding something preposterous in their hand. Oh, we just let it come up with it. That's it, huh? That's so preposterous. It's a, it's a bike inflation needle. It's a bike tire inflator. How preposterous. Is that Matt Reif? Too soon? Ooh. Let's see another. Oh, okay. okay. British. Uh, kind of looks a little Raptor. bit like you, Link. Yeah. Technicolor um, Raptor on a skateboard transports a British Link Neal with a mustache cosplaying as Abe Lincoln along in front of the F. A. A. O. Schwartz. Schwartz. Close. Uh, <laughs> late 19th century. What would that be? 19th guy be? century Playboy. Playboy? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, rides colorful T Rex Rainbow Raptor enjoying a day of skating outside of FAO Schwartz. This one was just generate your best interpretation of an image that would make someone go, huh? <laughs> huh? Really? Wow. We gave yeah. It. What if we would have gone, huh? No guardrails. Huh? 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 Look at huh. that nice huh. shadow. Look at the lighting and then the shadow yeah. coming on this. Yeah. I quite like it. Look at his tie. That's cool. I shall print this out and put it up in my living room. <laughs> his his legs are quite okay. stumpy, are they not? <laughs> He's a short statured man, from the waist down. What's in that window back there? It's some sort of other. Oh, what is that? Some sort of like. Large cat? Yeah. It's a, I think it's a parade float in the FAO Schwartz. Mm. Okay, don't hold back. Woo! Oh, pizza, pizza city! city! <laughs> the, imagine how much, imagine the pizza -ist City you can possibly imagine, and then add more pizza. Well, we're right about pizza. Oh, I thought I didn't. I didn't hear what Link's pitch was. Somehow, um, pizza city. Oh, because <laughs> it was that. I got it. Uh, generate an image that would make someone want to say, "Wow, that's the most creative thing I've ever seen." But there's way too much pizza. Ah, uh, wow! They did, it's you didn't. True. The word pizza wasn't even in the. But there's no, way no, too no. much. She pizza. wasn't commenting on that. She was saying that was a part of the. Prompt. Oh. <laughs> you that was thought that prompt. it was her giving the prompt, and then Stevie saying, "But there's way too much pizza." I mean, it and is I was the, agreeing. It is the most creative thing I've ever seen, but there's too much pizza. <laughs> what is that thing, like right there in front of the the the, the dark bridge? On the left side of the shore, that looks like a pizza penis. Yeah, what is that actually? Is that a is it a slug? What is that? I want to go there. I think it's a I think it's a mushroom. I want to go there. I bet it smells good until it doesn't. I mean, think about this. I mean, obviously, this is just images that are being generated right now, and of course, now they're generating video. But just imagine that when they figure out how to generate. Uh, 3D environments, and you and you just you just zoop, you just put on your VR thing, and then you're like, put me in the cr the craziest city you've ever seen, but there's too much pizza, and then you just walk around in it. Mm-hmm. 
We're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It feels like that's like a year away. Yeah. Yeah. And if and, and if you can go to Pizza Town at the press of a button, you will. Mm. You will go there. Oh. Why wouldn't you go there? There's no reason not to go there. Well, because because it generates a lot of energy. Because if to create it. Oh. Yeah. It does, actually. Let's, let's see the next one. A lot. Oh, this is a this is a post bath cat who wasn't happy about what you did to him. I just think it's grumpy cat. Soggy cat. Stinky yeah. cat. Yeah. One, I think that this cat is so cute. Mm -hmm. Two, uh Angry you're cat. I mean, the first part is um generate the angriest looking cat anyone has ever seen, but then there's a secondary portion and it does not involve uh, having a bath. Uh, that was, that fell in pee? That fell in <laughs> the dirtiest, angriest cat? What do you mean? No, I don't think it really, uh, who also has a twinkle of mischief in his eye. Uh, they missed that. They missed it. They missed the mischief. There's no mischief twinkling in that. Oh, eye. you know what? Maybe they put the twinkle on his whiskers because look at the whiskers on the left. They got a twinkle in there. Oh yeah, there's a twinkle in the whisker. Not the same. Okay. Now we're to Dogtown. Dog City! <laughs> Where the dogs are outside, but there's still people inside. At least two people. That looks like the lot. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't look like a real city. It looks like a, it, like the universal lot. There's something about, I don't know why I think that, but I do think that. Look at the- The curb. Do, the dog on like the mid ground on the, on the left, who's standing on his back feet. Like, that dog is disturbing to me. It looks kind of like a sloth, like a giant sloth. It's surprising to me how wrong they got this prompt, how wrong AI got this prompt. Okay, look on the lower right, that woman with the skirt who's a dog. Would you uh, what, what? date her? <laughs> Would you date that woman dog? I, I No, I think that the- um... I mean, does she speak, can does she speak English? Probably not, her head is a dog. <laughs> she doesn't well, have the vocal cords. But is the brain- She might be able to say, I love you. Is the brain human? Probably not, it's probably a dog brain. I mean, if man's best friend is a dog, and I do love dogs, it does beg the question. Well, no, it doesn't, not for me. You speak for yourself, man, keep me out of this. Well, I'm begging, the, I'm begging you to answer the question. I'm saying no. I'm not gonna fall in love with a, a woman that has a, head, a dog head, okay? Well, it's better than the opposite. I don't want my woman to be any dog. <laughs> okay? No well, no dog parts on my lady. I didn't ask if you wanted your woman to be part dog. I asked if your woman was part dog, what part would you want to be dog? I mean, I might want her to bark a little bit, but I don't want her to be. There you go. I don't want her to have any dog parts. What about just paws? I Fr think the, front paws. I, I, okay, I would, I, okay, I wouldn't rule out a woman because she had one paw. <laughs> But she gotta have one in regular hand. What about tail? Oh, I think tail would be nice, actually. All right. What about tail and a little bit of- No, 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 no more. Nozzle. I don't want a snout, no. Nozzle. <laughs> Muzzle. I think that the prompt was- Ears. A city, a world, show me a world where the dogs walk people. Show me a and dog couldn't woman- couldn't figure it out. That Rhett would date. It is, it, yeah, It's a. it was a pretty straightforward prompt of generate an image depicting a world where humans and dogs have switched places. Yeah, right. And it couldn't, it couldn't figure it out. Yeah. This, is, this is a common thing couldn't that it doesn't it understand. I don't know what, how it works. Of course I don't know how it works, but for some reason it gets this kind of prompt wrong a lot. Now, I, if I had a cousin who had the, like, the head of a dog, that, that's easily awesome. I would be friends with them. That's easily right. what? Easily awesome. I got a cousin whose head is a dog. I think you say, I've got a cousin who's got a dog head. 
I think yeah. is how you would say it. What do you mean they collected? No, 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 no. Mm-mm. Their head is a dog's head. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then and, they can, I, and they can say, I love you. And Rhett's got a wife with one paw on she's a tail. Got, she's got one paw on a tail. <laughs> but it's a hand. It's not. I don't want one of her feet to be a paw. One of the hands. Hey man, leave me out of this. This is too kooky. My wife is like, you have such a, she's like, you have such an unhealthy relationship with food because every time you do something, you're, you keep calling yourself a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, the bad boy's going in the cabinet now. <laughs>